kill you if they are bad quality. Okay, so you need to, if people sell you a thousand backlinks for ten dollars, um, don't touch it. Yeah, you want to build backlinks slowly over time, and that's another so thing what, that right? I haven't you mentioned. Can your, you can build your backlinks through articles and things. Yes. So, yes. so, you know, can that's I, a good way of organically yeah. doing it yes. and safely. I have heard, I can't remember who said it, I think it was a blogging event, that Google doesn't like, and tell me if this is not relevant to what you're talking about, Google doesn't like, so if I do a blog post and somebody for some unknown reason, loves my blog post and posts the same thing on their blog, mm. Google doesn't like that? Is that a similar thing? No, no, it's, there is, there is a new thing that um, Google will rank, so if you write a blog post, yeah, and I and, copy it, and Renee puts it on her blog as well, and you, that, because, actually have to take authorship on Google as well now. Yeah, right. Um, so you need to verify your authorship. Mm. Um, and basically if, if you post this first on your yeah. website, then your website <coughs> will get the, the biggest benefit yeah. from this content. Sure. Yeah. Um, if somebody copies it or if you copy it to your other websites yeah. or whatever it is, yeah. then where Google saw it first gets the yes. highest right. yeah. benefit. But, but, you you but I, I actually I do think that this is getting a little from. bit... Um, yeah, okay, no, that's fine. Um, I was just curious, but yeah. I'll do that. Um, because I'm trying yeah. to hopefully... All right, I'll shut up now. Um, <laughs> no, 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 for everyone, so yeah. just trying to get in everything. So yeah. relevance and backlinks, that's where yeah. those two. Sure. Size, and this is why we love blogs, yeah? So size of the website matters a lot. The more content you have, um, the better. So <laughs> posts or pages, <laughs> size doesn't matter. Sorry? More pages. Yeah. More pages or more content? Yeah. yeah, so not empty pages. No, no, no. no. Have have something <laughs> but on every it. time, if you did a blog yeah. on a page and you had your little subheading blogs, would you then create, like, how does that work? Because I haven't started a blog yet, but on my website I've got, like, sort of eight kind of click-on boxes at the top. Yeah. So if I had another click-on box for, say, blog. media, yeah. blog or blog, yeah. Yeah. would I then just upload, like, just every time I need a blog it goes under that same yeah. box? Yeah. Yeah, it's like a diary. Like a diary. Okay. What I do is every morning I put a question up on my Facebook page, oh, okay. and I copy it onto my blog. Mm. Okay. Should be doing more of that. Or the other way around. You can do it. Yeah. You've got Fine. a blog. It automatically can just yeah. go straight yeah. to you. So you're not actually doing two. Yeah. You can yeah. do it. Just you don't have to double up. Okay. My blog posts, when they're published, automatically appear on my Facebook. Yeah, you know that. Yeah, you know that. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, so the age of your website matters as well. So the longer you are in business or the longer you're running this website efficiently, the better. So Google will give you extra extra biscuits for that. And does that go via the URL or? It's so so what, like for mine, so it gives you a I've had it for two years, but I'm about to put a new platform under that. Is it going to take it back to that it's brand new or that it's still had, it's still yeah. been? Still it's it's but I mean, this is only one, and it is kind of this order. Mm -hmm. Traffic is key, and age is just one of the things. If you can create heaps and heaps of traffic really, really fast, well, hey, you win. But sorry, just a question. So I'm about to start a brand new platform. Does all my history and things from the other platform, does that get wiped? Again, if it's the same URL, no. So that's where it collects everything from. So yep. You'll that's import it. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. I'll just, yeah. I'm not a techie from the back no, end. No. I don't understand any of that. Yeah. So your web address is your that's what everything is. online. That's, okay. where it, that's where it all happens. Beautiful. Thank you. So 
black hat, white hat. You don't want this. You want this. Was that me? Yeah. 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 That's my ego. Oh, no, no, no. I'm going to leave you in the dark. <laughs> this is where SEO is not a strategy that works tomorrow. Okay? If you want to make sales tomorrow, you, there is other ways to do that. You've got pay per click and so forth. SEO takes time. It takes time. It takes three to six months to do anything properly on SEO, in my experience. And then suddenly, there you go. But for three to six months, sometimes, nothing much happens. That's mm -hmm. if you use so-called white hat strategies. And white hat strategies are the good ones. So we've got the good witch and the bad witch, the black hat and the white hat. There is things that can get you up on SEO very fast and that can get you wiped off Google just fast. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't want that. That is the last thing that you want. So you need to, with SEO, you need to go to a reputable company and you need to make sure that they do the job right. Which, you know? this is one of the most important things you will ever know about SEO, and this I will talk about it in a little bit. But um, these things are the ways how you can check if they're actually doing the job, because that is actually one of the biggest problems that people have with SEO companies, that they pay them $500, $1,000, or $5,000 every month, but they don't actually do what they promised. They just take your money. And most people don't know. Most people don't know because they can't check. But here, some of these parameters, you can actually check whether it's being done. So if, if that's, or you can do it yourself, obviously that's why I've given it to you, because I know that a lot of people in this room write their own blogs and you need this information to do it right for those search engines. Keywords, here we are. Keywords are a science of their own, really. There's a lot to know about keywords. Um, the main thing that you need to know is that there are a keyword is simply the search term that you put into your Google window. And in the old days, uh, sometimes one word was enough to find something online. These days, Sentence. it's keyword phrases. So a keyword phrase is anything that has more than one keyword in it. So it can be um, your plumber in Frankston or whatever. Two words makes it a phrase. And then there's the long tails, keywords, phrases, like where that. you've got two or three or four words, which is where you, or where we all probably start. So, finding your keywords is the biggest job that you have to do for your business when it comes to search engine optimization. And then when you've got those keywords, you use them everywhere. Everywhere. I'm just going to quickly go back. You use them on Google, you use them on Facebook, you use them on YouTube. Okay? So if your keyword is, do you know what your keywords are? Does anybody in this room know what they're doing? Well, pregnancy massage. Yeah. Pregnancy massage. Melbourne. Pregnancy. Prenatal massage. Yeah. Melbourne. Uh, okay. Maternal massage. Okay. So give me one. Pregnancy massage. Pregnancy massage. Okay. So if these are your keywords, then you want to, the first thing you want to call your keywords is your domain name. Okay. Yep. Okay. Now there's, Today. again, there's, there, there, there is ways yeah. of looking at it. So to me, the domain name, the business name, it should be what you do because you search as well. Mm -hmm. Okay? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So, if I am a plumber in Frankston, then that should, the, at least the word plumber should be in my business name so that people know what it is that I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And you see it all the time, even offline marketing, online marketing. People have business names that don't relate to what they do at all. I did it. That's why where I learned it. My business used to be called Brilliant Minds. What did what do you think about what I did in my business? <laughs> so 
Yeah, and you know, most things related to brilliant minds have to do with um, teenagers and yeah, like, yeah, things like that. But I love yeah, that name. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you know, it cost me a lot of money because I used to advertise <laughs> it and, you know, people would just go, duh. <laughs> yeah, so think about Facebook, for example. If somebody likes your page, then on average everybody has 130 friends. So somebody likes your page, and on average, 130 people get to see that, which is very much simplified, but mm -hmm. um, that's the way it should be. So if you get 100 likes, then thousands of people potentially see um, your page. And when it's called Brilliant Minds, and somebody sees, oh, my friend liked Brilliant Minds? But if they like web design themselves and somebody needs a web designer, well, that makes sense, right? Mm. So to me, I'm very pragmatic with my marketing. I try to do what works. That's why my company is called Web Designer Sales, okay? So for me, a business name, if people come to me, I try to get them to have a business name, a domain name that actually has an impact on the search engines. So for certain businesses. So what happens if you've got a business that you've had for a long time? Mm. Yeah. But you can, again, it depends. If you have a website that has your URL and it's already established and it's doing well, I wouldn't touch it. If your website is young or it's not working well at all, you don't get much traffic and so on, I'd get a new domain name and then redirect your old one. Okay. So yeah. that the content would be on the, on the search engine relevant mm -hmm. one. Yeah. But then, again, when it comes to branding, you know, you want to be, a business name is something very personal to many people. So you can't always argue with that. Yeah, because you've got it's your branding also, and yeah. you've got yeah. your domain yeah. design. Yeah. What you could also do, sorry, is to, this is where a good, like a blog comes in really well because you can change your URL. So you can type in, say for example, you know, you might be CZ Tots, but you might write a blog post yeah. about Kids Handmaid's Kids. Puppet and use your keywords in that, and so you can actually change that domain. So that's another really good is way to do it. Is there a limit for domains? So it can be, can, like, is there a limit? No, you can many? have as many domains as you want, but awesome. your domain only counts when there's the content behind it. Mm. So if Emma... But if it's pointing like back to your website. If, no. no, so if you have... if. A, the URL just points to your website and there's nothing behind, behind it. it yeah. So it doesn't rank as such yeah. on its own. Right. Okay. So I need to be doing that. <coughs> Would it be worthwhile? So in an ideal world, uh, to me, to, you know, that's what it should be. Again, with the branding, um, it's something that's personal to people and you just need to make, a, make that decision because um, branding is important. Mm. It is important, but um, the easiest and quickest way for me, especially when it's a local business, then... Um, so, for instance, you, which is called Brilliant Mind, do you keep that anywhere in your business now? Yeah. Oh, really? Okay. No. Oh, I like that too. It's great. Isn't that a... That's a business. I'm just saying, yeah, yeah. yeah. it wasn't it's a really movie. exclusiveness of that. It was. Yeah, it has. You don't want to sell sausages. Yeah. Yeah. So... Beautiful mind. <laughs> so, yeah. sorry, you had a question. Well, would it be worthwhile because breastfeeding cover is taken, nursing cover is taken, like .com, .au, .everything, to do like baby button breastfeeding cover .com and direct that to my normal page? Is that um, yes and no. So there's there's more to it than just that. So now you've got um, the word that you want in your domain. But then you also want to make sure that the domain doesn't get too long. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, because then when you start writing blogs as well. So what the search engines don't really look at is um, domain names or URLs over 60 characters. So okay. <laughs> when you start writing blogs, you have your domain name and then slash blog usually on sometimes yeah. the category and then your, your name, then... Oh. So then you suddenly obviously come to a point where it gets too long. So if you have something like that, if you can call it first or BB or something like that, sometimes can work. Does that make sense? So trying to keep it short. 
What about something like funky breastfeeding covers or? Yeah, as long as it's top, beautiful breastfeeding. Top, covers. something that's short. Yeah, top breastfeeding covers. Best, mm. best, yeah, best, best breastfeeding covers. Mm. So for mine, I'd call the blog Kids Craft if I could, you, and yeah. then have well, Kids Craft activities, but they'd be gone. Yeah, a lot of the good ones really are gone. Here's not really super relevant. Babybutton.com isn't being used, but it's they're been sitting on it for 13 years now. So, do I just not ever bring it to their attention? I exist. Do I offer to buy? Where do they Where do they offer it from? California, Damn American. <laughs> Yeah, they have everything. everything. <laughs> is there a page behind it? No. no. It's, it's, it's nothing. Not about it. You can, it yeah, you like can. Hosting is out. I did. They just renewed oh. for another two years. Good on them. <laughs> yeah, good on them. Well, you could write to them and say, But is that. What are you doing? Send me at the domain. You know, you could. Ella, they can, they can come back business. and. Some people just do that for a business. Yeah, I know, God, that's what he mm. does. Yeah. Yeah. Go he just buys yeah. domains. Did you use, you yeah. Yeah. Until someone to, asks for it to yeah. buy it off them. And they buy it. And they, yeah. 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 Melbourne, Melbourne Pregnancy Massage right. yeah. was redoing.